Hello everybody, so Superboof 2023 happened now and I'm still recovering a bit. It was really, really intense, but it was awesome again. And the weather was absolutely brilliant. It was pouring all over Germany, except in Berlin at Superboof there was sunshine and 23 degrees. Let's enter directly the bungalow village, the first stop if you come with a tram and I entered the first hut and it contained the talk of a show, the Super Gemini from UDO, which is just a massive synth. It doubles up the previous Super 6 and does not only double up in two layers, he just duplicated all of the controls for two layers. So you have the one layer in white knobs and buttons and the other one in orange ones. And you might ask, do you really need this? And the answer is easy. Yes, you do. I played it and this thing sounds amazing, but sadly it still misses the display. And in the next hut there was Maya synthesizers and last year I talked about the MD900 which is a very impressive workstation which contains drums, different synthesizer models, all the things but now they're showing a smaller version which can do exactly the same but with a smaller user interface and the price should be therefore much cheaper. In another hut there was WMD which split now up into two companies so the second company is called AMMT synthesizers and they're showing some old but new branded systems now in a much nicer looking black version. And also famous Mr. Dieter Döpfer had its own hut and showed up new modules for his polysynthesizers. But let's enter the main building of Superbooth, which is the most confusing building I've ever been. And in the entrance, there's not only the reception, there is also cork located and upstairs there are also several exhibitors. And then this nice little tent there was cork located, but the only thing they had to show was their celebrity version in crystal and a crystal plastic bag. Come on, cork, you can do better. But there are innovative companies, lots of them at Superbooth. One of them is Game Changer Audio and they have this Motosynth in version 2 which sounds amazing. I played around with it for half an hour but then I saw the price and the price is simply insane. And they also had a funny demo of their distortion module and after that I had to visit a doctor to get my ears repaired. And there were YouTubers and YouTubers YouTubing and more YouTubers YouTubing and YouTubing YouTubers YouTubing. But being here at this booth, there is a Trigon 6, which sounds really nice. And there's also a module version of the OB6, which was a big talk of the last year's super booth. And this is a nice looking and sounding module. Upstairs there was a presentation of very old cute synths from Synthesizer Studio Berlin which is a new studio yeah, which you can rent and you can play all these cool old analog synthesizers including two CS80s which they own. New module coming up, the Anima synth and the keyboard version as well, which is a physical modeling synthesizer and this is to be expected to be available soon. Soundforce has different controllers which are available for quite some time and they have them now for more models and they have now a deeper integration into the virtual plugins which are supported for example you can also switch presets from the devices and there were also lots of software companies at Superbooth and also hardware software combinations. For example, the Aruba from Nectar Instruments, which is a cheaper version of a kind of native instruments machine, if you know about that, which runs also with a plugin where you can create for each pad quite deep effects chains. 
There is also this new MP controller, which is basically a PC with a touchscreen and some knobs surrounding them. But you have to wrap all your plugins into a specific plugin wrapper to make this work on the screen. And if you don't want to use it as a controller, you can still use it as a mirror. There's a new company creating 3D printed stands, little helper stands, which are pretty nice and quite adjustable. And you can get them for tons of different devices and they are all individually fitted to the specific device. And there was also the big sports hall, which was now also packed this year again with exhibitors. And one interesting product here from Thinkstone is a new recorder with eight MIDI and eight audio tracks but the price is a little bit heavy it's to be expected around 1500 euros but Superbooth is not about the gear it's about the people and you meet people everywhere and there is beer involved and there are also sausages involved you should reserve the first day of Superbooth only for talking with all the people you meet there and don't forget to party and document everything on your mobile phone and it was definitely won the prize for coolest shirt of the show and Zebra will be coming soon. I finally could put my hands on this Soma device and it's the first Soma device I think is really cool and it's undescribable, you just have to play with it yourself. Too many students were there again, the company who creates really really nice handmade Eurorack systems and this year they have now new things to put on your wall which are really nice looking. For example you can put it to the laboratory. And there were again lots of Gesprächskonzerte, which is a made up name from Mr. Schneider. It means basically talking and playing. And this is a really cool idea. It's not about presenting gear, it's about making music and talking a little bit about the used gear. Some exhibitors also had their own little concerts and here we are at Arturia in a really nice 70s look of the booth. But let's go outside again where the sun was shining in the air was nice and Marth was playing really cool kick there really enjoyed that. And there were also much much more concerts which were just no time to visit them all. And if you move along from this side, you can see on the left the big sports hall here from outside, as I said before, with lots of lots of exhibitors as well. And there was also a little other music spot with big, big speakers and also some very interesting artists. And you could just walk by, uh, listen a little bit to music and move on to the next one. And now the talk of the show was again Teenage Engineering's with their bit pricey products of the Field Series now, the Field Field, the Field Recorder, the Field Mixer, whatever. And they have now also their own car, so it seems business at these prices seems to work fine for them. Moving on to the tent area, one of the two tent areas. And there were people, 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 and also sequencer talk. German video cars was there doing some live interviews in the sun. Electra One was there as well and they showed off the new Mark II which will have a much faster processor and more memory so you can do larger patches with them and I'm really looking forward to that one. There was the Acid booth again with Acid Acid everywhere. And Monty's upcoming soon also another highlight of the show. And I didn't expect to find anything interesting to buy, but I ordered the Holy Cinematic straight away. It sounds massive. 
Yeah, Bitwig was there as well. Again, with a very colorful booth. Not only a colorful carpet this time, but also a flag outside of their tent. And this is not the same carpet as last year. It's a new one. It looks totally different. And the team was there. And yeah, Bitwig is growing steadily. And Bitwig 5 will be out soon. And there was a celebration evening with cake and cookies and stuff. Yeah, clap is something I talked a lot about in my clap videos. So the clever audio plugin, and there is lots of interest in the industry. And Alex, who invented this interface, gave a workshop and it was very interesting who showed up at this workshop. There were about 40 people, some companies you did not expect to show up there, but I will not show them in this video. Uh, they will be kept secret, but I know there will be lots of cool stuff coming with clap support in the future. And Tune Girl was rocking the stage. Unbelievable. And there were lots of other cool artists at this area and more the techno vibe was happening at this place. And back late night at the bungalow village, there is more silent sounds and experiments happening and you could chill out the rest of the evening. Yeah, it's already over, Super Goof, and we are all sad and I'm destroyed. <laughs> But it will be soon, since there will be the next one in May 2024. See you all again!